So how's it going guys and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be taking a look at the weaponized tamper. I'm going to be showing you some of the key features of the vehicle. I'll also give you a little run through on my opinion and how I feel about the car. Hopefully this video can help you decide whether this is the vehicle for you or if you're going to save your money and spend it on something else from the gun running DLC. So one of the key features about this vehicle is the minigun on top of it. When you buy this, it comes with one minigun and it's fixed. You can't change the direction that the minigun is pointing in unless you steer the vehicle itself. But once you've got your staff to do enough research inside of the bunker, there'll come a time where you actually unlock dual miniguns on top of the tamper itself. And when you do get the dual miniguns, they are not fixed. You can change the position and what angle that they're looking at whilst driving forward. It is a little bit hard to get used to, but once you get the hang of it, you understand it and two mini guns on top of this vehicle they absolutely obliterate vehicles as you can see by some of the clips inside of this video whether you've got the single mini gun or the dual mini gun mounted on top of the vehicle they both have unlimited ammo which is really good you wouldn't really expect to run out of ammo on a mini gun that is strapped to a vehicle that would be quite unfair especially for the price that you pay when you buy the car without the trade price the vehicle will cost you just over 2.1 million in-game dollars so that is quite expensive if you don't have the money then it's a shame but if you do have that sort of money then feel free go ahead and buy it I do recommend it but if you get the trade price after you do a certain amount of resupply runs you will unlock the car for a cheaper price which is just over one and a half million so you save just under 500,000 which is quite a big margin from 2.1 to 1.5 I'll put the exact prices on the screen so you guys can do the maths and figure it out exactly if you want to. But as I was saying earlier, when you progress through your research, you will unlock two mini guns for the top of the vehicle. And then also as you go through more research stages, there's a few more items that you can actually unlock for the car. You can get missiles inside the front of the bumper. You can get mines that you can drop out the rear of the car. They're very effective and you can get a mortar that fires two shells out the back of the vehicle itself also. So just a quick breakdown, with the minigun you get unlimited ammo. With the rockets that come out the front of the bumper you get 20 of them. They're not homing launchers so they're just dumb fire. Wherever your car is looking that's where they will go. The mines literally drop straight out the back of your car and if a car drives over them they pretty much will explode 99% of the time and the mortar that is strapped to the back it fires pretty much two at a time you can shoot one but if you just hold it it will shoot two at a time and you get eight of them so in total that is 20 rockets that come out the bumper eight mortars that come out the back unlimited mines that you can only use five at a time which is fair enough that's the same as if you're walking around on foot and using sticky bombs or proximity mines and the mini guns strapped to the top they have unlimited bullets so that is really good, you get quite a lot of weaponry for the price that you do pay compared to some of the other vehicles in this game. You can also get light, medium and heavy armour for the car. It doesn't really affect how strong it is against explosives, I guess that it's just a bit more bullet resistant. You can get shot out of the vehicle quite easy but that goes for the majority of vehicles in this game so you're not really losing out anything there. And if you have the MOC, the Mobile Operations Centre, that's where you can do all of these upgrades. You get paint jobs, liveries, they look really, really nice. And all your standard upgrades that you can do on the majority of cars, your engine, transmission, turbo, all that stuff. So you get the bare basics for the upgrades that you can do on the majority of cars in the game, plus a lot more. So if you go ahead, do a few resupply runs, get that discounted price, it knocks it down to 1,585,000. So for the amount of car that you get, I would recommend buying that. But when you do buy it, I just want to stress this, you will literally get the vehicle with one minigun on top. You have to do research and then unlock the items that you can then equip to the car, but they also cost money theirself. So I hope that makes it clear for you. Now the question is, would I recommend buying this vehicle? The answer is yes, 100%. If you're looking to purchase something from the Gun Running DLC update, and maybe you can't afford the new bike then I'd recommend this vehicle to be fair it's absolutely amazing it's versatile plenty of weaponry and I'd highly recommend it hopefully this video may have helped you out on deciding whether you're going to purchase the car or not if it has 
Don't forget to drop a like on the video, all the support is greatly appreciated. Also, subscribe to this channel, The Game Hub. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.